there are a few explanations why your amigurumi does not look exactly like the one that you saw on the pictures before you purchased a crochet pattern. And in this video, I'll bring you six reasons that will improve the quality of your amigurumis. I am Bianca from Crochetnix and after a few years teaching amigurumis and observing people's crocheting, I gathered some important reasons why your amigurumi does not look exactly like the ones that you purchased like the photos from the pattern that you chose. This is a topic that I constantly hear people complaining and there are a few reasons why it happens. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So stay with me in this video because these six reasons, they are very valuable and I am sure you'll like them. Reason one, crochet tension. Crochet tension sounds like a very abstract topic, I know, but this is very important and it varies a lot from how long you crochet, your experience, and also how much time you dedicated to it. If you crochet for, I don't know, 20 years and you've never dedicated enough time to learn new techniques and improve the techniques that you know, experience doesn't count that much. And I'll give you an example to illustrate what I'm talking about with a personal experience. <laughs> My grandmother crochets since she was a little kid and now she's like 85 years old. Thank God she's still alive. So she's experienced. She works with crochet for more than 60 years already, but she never tried to improve anything. It was just something that she did unconsciously. She likes to crochet. She does it unconsciously. Um, she knows some stitches, but she never tried to learn anything else besides than what she already knows. And she never tried to improve her crochet tension or things like that. So she crochets in an automatic way. It's like driving a car or brushing our teeth. We don't think about it, we just do. So do you get what I'm talking about? My grandmother is an experienced crocheter and although she does it for a long time, she does not know everything. There are lots of things for her to learn. It doesn't mean that her crochet tension is the best because she never worried about it. She just wanted to crochet. And talking about it is really funny actually because I remember when I was a kid and she used to give us um, socks and scarves and things like that that she needed or crocheted. And her stitches were not very pretty. There were some small ones and big ones. She just wanted to, I don't know, she has like, my goodness, I have lots of cousins, like 20 grandsons and she wanted to knit for everyone. She was not worried with tension, she just wanted to crochet or knit something beautiful for everyone in the family. So she knows how to do it. She's experienced, but her tension is not 100% perfect. So there is always room for improvement. And tension changes a lot. It changes depending on your mood, for example, but I won't focus on it now because there is another video here in the channel where I talk only about crochet tension and how to improve it. And I'll leave the link here down below in the description so you can check it later. Reason two, different types of single crochet. The interesting thing for me to talk about the different types of single crochet is that when I learned how to crochet amigurumis and it was back in 2015 or 16, I never remember. Um, the X stitch was the natural one for me. But back then, and I'm talking about something that happened eight or nine years ago, no one talked about V shape or X shape in single crochet stitches. So I remember that when a person saw me crocheting like the X stitch, she said that I was doing it wrong. And I believed so because I knew nothing back then. So yeah, when she said, okay, this is not correct, um, I started crocheting the V shape. But I am an X stitch fan. <laughs> For amigurumis. Um, the amigurumis look beautiful with the v-shape also and it's like a personal preference. I know some people who only crochet with the v-shape they prefer. I like the X stitch more. The stitches are smaller, the amigurumis are smaller um, and you have like very very tight stitches, you avoid holes between stitches so I like them way, way more. And I also like the effect that the X stitch causes in Yamigurumi because since the stitches are tighter and you have like a very 
um, hard crochet fabric in the end so it helps to preserve the shape of the amigurumi especially in the square hat shape which is one of my favorites and almost all my work is in square shape because I really really liked it it took me a long time to develop this shape but yeah the X stitch helps to preserve the corners and create the shape uh, better than the V shape it also works with the v-shape and i have a video which i tell some tips to improve the square shape for amigurumis and in this video i compare like a v and a square hat made with v stitch and the other one with x stitch and you see that it works for both reason number three changing crochet hooks when you buy a pattern it's always written the size of the finished crochet doll but this size may change depending on the crochet tension which I already mentioned, the type of the single crochet, if it's the X or the V shape, which I also mentioned, it varies because of the yarn that you chose. I'm still go going to talk about the yarn. Hold on a second. And also uh, because of the crochet hook chosen. You can use the same yarn indicated in the pattern, but if you change the crochet hook, it will change the size of the amigurumi. And of course, consequently, it will change the size of the doll and how the amigurumi looks. So for example, I crocheted these two balls here using the hobby yarn, the friends cotton yarn. Um, this one I crocheted with a two millimeter crochet hook size and this one I used a three millimeter crochet hook size. Using the exactly same pattern, you can see that the size changed a lot and even the shape of the stitches are a bit different. If it was like a huge amigurumi, it would make like a whole different toy just by changing the crochet hook size. There are lots of different brands of crochet hooks available too. People usually like Clover or Tulip. These are one of the most famous one. And crochet hook brands may vary and it may cause some um, different effect of, on the amigurumi in the end, but I don't think it changes that much. What really makes a difference is the size of the crochet hook, if it's a 2 or a 2.5 or a 3 millimeter crochet hook size. Reason 4. Change the yarn. It doesn't mean that you have to use exactly the same yarn indicated in the pattern. I will say it again because I really want you to focus on that sentence. <laughs> you don't have to use the same yarn that the designer chose for the Emigrumi project. I see sometimes customers shaking heaven and earth to find exactly the same yarn that I used for my amigurumi project, but it's not necessary. What you have to do is observe the material that was used. Is it acrylic? Is it polyester? Or is it cotton yarn? So take a look at the composition of the yarn, the crochet hook recommended because you can always check it in the label. So you change the, the yarn used for the project. Is it the same fabric? Is it the same material? Are they both cotton yarn, for example? Okay, what about the crochet hook recommended? Is it similar? Like one recommends a 2.5 and the other recommends a 3 millimeter? Okay, this is close. The problem is when you change a lot, one, one yarn recommends a 2.5 and the other recommends a 4 millimeter crochet hook size. So you see that the yarn is very, very different from the one that you purchased, from the one that was recommended in the pattern that you purchased. And actually, if you want me to create a video just teaching you how to substitute the yarn that is written in the crochet pattern that you bought, write here in the comments down below the word yarn. So I know that this is an interesting topic for you and well, maybe I'll create a video about it. It will be fun. Reason number five, reading a crochet pattern. Ah, come on, Bianca, reading a crochet pattern is very easy, isn't it? Well, this is one of the biggest mistakes I see people committing like every day. Not paying attention to all the details that are written in the pattern, all the descriptions. If it's asked to change the crochet hook, at a specific part of the pattern. Are there QR codes or links to videos that support the pattern? These are all simple details that will make a big difference in your amigurumi. Reading a pattern is not only about deciphering the codes and abbreviations. Read the explanations, observe the pictures, scan or click the links that are available in the pattern because this 
combined with all the other tips that I have already given in the video will make a huge difference in your amigurumi. Reason number six, it is a handmade product. This sixth reason is not a problem, neither requires any correction. It is something completely natural of our work with amigurumis. We are not a factory nor a machine, we don't produce like a massive amount of amigurumis to be sold on platforms like Amazon, for example. Well, we are human beings and everything that happens to us affects the way that we crochet and of course will affect your final amigurumi. We all have different ways of holding the crochet hook. We have different experiences, different backgrounds, and it affects the way that the amigurumi looks. And this is something beautiful, actually. This is not a problem. This makes our job unique. Even when I try to replicate one of my patterns, I mean, I created the pattern, I crocheted, or I tested the pattern, but when I try to make it like for the third or fourth time, it is different because it's a handmade product and how tired I am in that day or I don't know if I had a good night of sleep it all affects how my amigurumi will look and there are always some details that come out differently from what you planned or what you expected this is completely normal and to be honest this is one of the things that I like the most about this art it's never the same it cannot be replicated in a massive scale and for me this is the beauty of the amigurumis I have two examples here, although this is still not finished. I crocheted this cat. You can find the free pattern tutorial here on the channel. This is very easy and very cute for Christmas. Um, but this is my beautiful cat. And I, oh, I was also crocheting another one. I still haven't finished. But if you take a look at this amigurumi here, you'll see that the face of the cat is already different and I used the same pattern. I created, I crocheted and it's different because it's handmade. We cannot replicate exactly the same way. It's funny because when I look at some details, I see some things that is like, did I change the side of the size of the eyes? And no, I didn't. It's the same safety eyes. I guess I used a 12 millimeter safety eyes and this one looks bigger for me and I don't know why but this is handmade as I said so it will always be different and that's okay because they are both beautiful and they are both very cute well I am sure that you feel more relaxed now that you know this is completely normal and I'll leave you with this other video here because I know it will be very helpful for you